Oh, I can't believe that happened. That's so awesome. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. Today we're going to be covering a few awesome things. If you remember in the last episode, uh, we went ahead and learned how to create some potions, which was very, very awesome for us. Um, now we can use those to hopefully get to the underwater base or the, uh, yeah, the, the, the ocean temple or ocean. Yeah, hold on. Let me check. Let me check. We got it right here. Ocean Monument, that's right. They keep changing up the names. I apologize about that. Okay, so we're going to want to get to the Ocean Monument. So in order to do so, we're going to need to collect a few materials uh, in order to siege that. Remember, we're going to want to uh, create the potions of water breathing and the potion of night vision so that when we get down there, we can see what we're doing and we can, we can stay underwater for a very long period of time. Now, with our different... Um, things we have remember we're going to need puffer fish so that's the first thing we're going to cover we're going to go ahead and actually um get into our chests now we have string here so let's go ahead and grab a couple pieces of string we have sticks already and hopefully yes we have feathers awesome actually we don't really need the um the feather now that i think about it so let's go ahead and come over here and we will go ahead and craft our fishing pole now the fishing pole is used obviously to catch fish um we can give it an enchantment, which is what we're actually going to do right up right now. Um, we are going to first of all get three pieces of lapis so we get the best enchantment possible. Um, and we are going to do this. And I think yes, we are going to be barred from getting the best one. So why don't we go ahead and actually do we need a block any off? I don't think we do. I think we can get our level two. Um, so it has unbreaking on it, and that's it. Okay. So um, we only have unbreaking two on the fishing rod now. That just means we're going to get some more casts on it. It's not it's not the greatest, but it's you know it's something that we can work with. Um, I was hoping to get lucky to see it lets you catch a little bit um, better fish or not better fish but fish more often instead of picking up bad things but it's not a big deal now I'm gonna go ahead and clear my inventory for you guys so we're not looking at that constantly and we're gonna go out catching fish I'm probably just gonna cut together um, when I when I actually pull them in um, but yeah so so let me go ahead and do that and I'll be back with you guys here in a minute Okay, now my inventory is clear, obviously. Let's go out into the front yard, or in the what we call the front yard, uh, and we are going to go ahead and cast our fishing rod. Now, fishing is, is a pretty cool skill. Clearly, you can see the water kind of popping up here. That means that there are fish moving towards it, right? And when we see the bobber dip down, we're going to want to right-click, and when we do, hopefully, we will pull in a fish here. Let's go ahead and wait for that to happen. Um, it usually takes a, a, a quite a bit of time, but it's okay. Now, there are different things you can pick up from um, fish. You can pick up broken boots. You can pick up... Um, Obviously fish, you can pick up the clownfish, the um, the puffer fish, and the normal fish, and I think there's also salmon that you can pick up. Um, clearly we're not catching anything, so let's go ahead and recast here in a different direction, which is fine, so we get a different block, hopefully. Obviously the sun is setting, so it's, it's time for the night feed for the fish, hopefully. Okay, so it seems like we're not getting a bite right now. Let me go ahead and, and run up to the house and sleep the night off so we don't get snuck up on by a, uh, a mean guy and... Um, We'll go ahead and give it another shot in the morning. Okay, and here we are back down by the front of the house. We have a, a zombie here. Uh, another thing about fishing rods is you can actually hook zombies and things and pull them towards you and things like that. Um, so it's, it's good to keep in mind, like if you want to pull, um, let's say, a creeper off an edge or something, you can always hook it and then pull it off the edge in a ravine or something cool like that. Uh, just, yeah, just pro tip if you guys want to... Wanna Remember that, and let's go ahead and, and cast again, obviously in a new spot, uh, and we'll see how this does. Now, like I said, those particles, I believe, mean that there are fish. Um, but yeah, it, they only show up when you're fishing, and um, you're supposed to see particles usually track towards your bobber, hopefully, so that you can uh, go ahead and catch one if there is one. Okay, so I put the bobber right next to us for a nice up-close view. Hopefully, we can catch a fish right here. Oh, and did you see that? It went under and everything. Oh, we missed our first fish. Dang it. That's all right, though. That, that's exactly what it looks like when a fish is coming up on your bobber. We'll keep it close again just so we can watch it happen again, hopefully. And we had a bite. Oh, did we get it? We caught it. We caught our first fish, you guys. That is so awesome. Now, unfortunately, we do need to catch puffer fish, so I will probably be out here doing that for a very long time. But I figured I'd show you the aspects of fishing for now. Now, uh, I'll probably go ahead and grind that off the screen for you guys so you don't have to watch me um, 
watch me pain painfully uh, wait wait for a random rare drop especially with the rarity of of uh, fish and how slow they, they bite and stuff that's why it's unfortunate we didn't get luck of the sea there um, but let's go ahead and do the other part of it which is actually getting golden carrots now we don't have carrots right now. Um, I think we can check that village again, but I'm not sure that they have them there. So you guys give me a minute and we'll get prepped to go over to that village. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop our fishing supplies right here at the door because I figured we'll be back for those. Now let's go ahead and check the village and see if any villagers maybe have a trade for carrots or anything like that. Uh, remember, this is going to take a second to load in. There we go. And uh, there we go. We do have carrots. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and take some home and we will... Um, I guess build a new farm area for our carrots. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad. We're going to go ahead and replant these, even though they're not in the chunks that we load. Uh, I believe there are other farms over here as well. Just make sure that there are no carrots involved with these guys. It doesn't look like there are. Just more potatoes, and this is the farm. Uh, this is another one. Hey, there we go. There's some more carrots. Awesome. Uh, we actually may have some to start working on this because carrots are, uh, are not, yeah, they're not really needed uh, or they're not really going to be used too much by us except for um, maybe horses. Um, so let's go ahead and just take these back and I guess we'll start working on them right away. Now remember we do have some gold hopefully up in our chest, up in our valuables chest. Now the gold is what we need in order to um, make the carrots. Now I think we're going to make... Um, an eight. Eight is a nice number. Eight, eight night vision potions. Um, so let's go ahead and get uh, our gold nuggets out and we'll just surround our carrots with the gold nuggets. Now this should be eight perfectly. Nice eight golden carrots. Very cool. Now let's go ahead and put our gold back into that chest and we will run downstairs. Now remember, remember in order to make potions, we need to first of all get awkward potions or water bottles. So let's go ahead and take out these water bottles. Um, and we will get to work on mass producing the potions. Uh, oh, and we have our potions of regeneration. I forgot about those. That's very awesome. Unfortunately, they do not stack. Okay, let's go ahead and put these guys together. And we will grab our nether wart. And we will start up these ones. And then we'll go ahead and fill up some more bottles. Because we do have more bottles. And we'll go ahead and fill up a few more of those guys. There we go. Now they're all full. And we're going to go ahead and put these ones in here just like this. Just making sure those are all water bottles. And we'll make some more awkward potions. Now, once these awkward potions are done, uh, actually, we didn't need to make nearly that many golden carrots now that I'm doing the math. Uh, because you only need one per. Now, let's go ahead and drop this guy in there. We'll let that make a potion of night vision. And then this one will finish up. Um, let's. I, I'm so excited to see exactly what these look like um, because I cannot remember myself. Here we go. Water bottles. And remember, we're going to want to make water breathing potions as well. So we're probably going to need to make more bottles. Uh, we currently have six and then what this is another eight so we can make seven of each or we could probably make more i think i do want to make more just to be safe but there's our potions of night vision now remember this is not our final step we're also going to want to lengthen the um the potion of night vision so let me go ahead and check this chest we only have one piece of redstone so let's run upstairs and grab ourselves a piece of redstone because that redstone is really going to help um have that night vision last longer and i think it turns it up to quite a bit um, I'll, I'm taking some extra redstone, obviously, so that we'll keep it down here so that we can we can add to the other potions as we need them. But remember, uh, this will make it eight minutes a piece. So that's going to be a very, very, very long time. That's not even a joke um, that we're going to be able to work down into that ocean monument. I don't know how long we're going to be down there. I'm going to expect about 40 minutes, uh, not 40 minutes, 20 minutes. Um, our, it'll be 24 minutes because we're gonna use uh, intervals of eight. So we'll, we'll expect to be down there for 24 minutes and um, we're gonna have a backup set of potions. So we're gonna do two sets of, of three potions um, there. So let's go ahead and drop this golden carrot in there now to make our night vision uh, on these potions. And these ones are done. See, eight minutes a piece. That's absolutely ridiculous. But it may be what we need to go down into that ocean monument. Now let's go ahead and actually get ourselves a chest going here. And this will be our ocean monument chest. So things that we, we use to prepare for ocean monuments. Um, things like um, different enchanted helmets. Uh, we want water breathing on our helmet. Um, things, things of that sort. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start saving our stuff in there. Let's go ahead and check on this other one. Actually, um, I was gonna think we could make some more potions, but we're not really gonna need to. So let's just make some more awkward potions for now, and we will save them for when we're ready for. Oh, I did not mean to take that out. We actually want to extend it. Remember, with a piece of redstone. Um, we're actually gonna we're actually gonna um, leave them in here just like this, so that when I get the puffer fish, we can go ahead and um, and do so by getting our potion of water breathing, so that we'll be ready for that. 
Now, I also am considering making some more potions of regeneration. Obviously, they are very, very helpful with what we need. Um, I, I, it's between potion of healing and potion of regeneration. Uh, I'm thinking potion of regen uh, of healing is probably a little bit better, so we can get instant health. So with that, we're going to need to make glistening melons. Um, I'll go ahead and make those. We'll go ahead and make those together here in a second. I just want to make sure that these are good. Okay, so we have now we have. Two sets of three, like I said. Um, this will, will will signify their separation by putting these ones on the bottom row. You remember, in case we die, so we can go back and we can go continue fighting. Um, now we're gonna instead of potions of regeneration, like I just said, we are gonna go ahead and make potions of healing. So let's run upstairs and see if we have any melons. Uh, I don't believe we have any melons ready in our food container. Actually, we do. Holy crap! Cool. Okay, so in, to make glistening melons, we're only gonna make two sets of three. Correct. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll only take two sets of three. We're also going to need the uh, same amount of gold, remember, the, to surround our, um, to surround our, our melon, to make the glistening melon. That's the same thing as the carrot. There we go. We got two pieces of glistening melon. Now let's go ahead and run back downstairs and make that other set of awkward potion in the right potion making part. So we'll go ahead and set some more water bottles in there and make our awkward potions there. And we're going to go ahead and put our glistening melon in this guy and we'll let him cook. Now the glistening melon can only have uh, glowstone added. So let's run upstairs and see if we can't grab some more glowstone. Uh, if we can't, we'll have to go to the nether and grab some more, but I'm not too worried about it. We have one piece of glowstone here and valuables maybe. No, no glowstone. Okay. So I know we have two pieces of glowstone though. Um, and that is all we're going to need for these guys because we have another piece of glowstone right here in this chest, uh, just like I remembered. And so now these are instant health potions, but we're going to want to make them even stronger because that will heal four hearts instead. So let's go ahead and um, continue this process. Now, we want the four hearts instead just to, just to be safe. Obviously, if we're low on health, we can we can hopefully swim around the corner or block somebody off and, and, and heal back up instantly instead of having to wait for our food to heal us. So there we go. Now we have our potion of instant health twos, and we're going to go ahead and drop these guys right next to our potion of night vision. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and sleep uh, while we wait for that other potion to brew. And there we go. Let's go ahead and run back downstairs. We'll put this other one in. And then remember, we're going to want to um, get ourselves some pufferfish. So let me go ahead and catch a couple of those. And uh, I will be back with you when I have done so. But first, let me go ahead and add that. And I think we need to... Let's, let's go ahead and make some more awkward potions right away, actually. I apologize. Um, we actually have one awkward potion already. So let's keep that in our inventory to finish off this one. But then we're going to need three more bottles at least. So let's grab glass from upstairs. Um, I apologize about that. Actually, you know what we should do? We should mass produce some glass. Oh, we did last time. Awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and run, back, run these back downstairs after we make them into bottles there we go we got a ton of bottles now uh, hopefully we won't be running out anytime soon here and there we go there's 45 bottles so now let's go ahead and fill a few of them up with water you just need three more to finish off what we're doing and boom there we go three more water bottles we have oh i accidentally made a f one too many i apologize about that um and there we go. We'll go and drop this guy in there. We'll drop these in there. Potions of regeneration we don't really need right now. We only need uh, two more pieces of redstone, two more pieces of nether wart. Uh, the gold nugget is not important. The golden carrot can sit down here because I'm sure we're going to be using those again maybe. Um, and let's go ahead and take out our potion of instant health. Drop, oh no, not in the awkward potion. We'll drop in the water bottles and we will make more awkward potions. Um, and then we will drop in this other awkward potion with... Oh, I thought... Didn't we make these into awkward potions? What? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so we're making these into awkward potions now. And then once that's done being awkward potions, we'll drop this guy in there with them. And uh, it will be done so that we can just add the puffer fish and our two pieces of redstone. And we will be completely done with that now. Here we go. And boom, now we have all awkward potions in here and all awkward potions in here. Very nice. Let's go ahead and take our potions of instant health. Um, over to our chest and put them with all the other things. There we go. Look at this. Look, we're almost fully prepped for our adventure over to the ocean monument. And now let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and fish for you guys for a while. I apologize. I've got to grab the fish, obviously. Um, and I guess I'll grab the actual fish and we'll see how many of, of each type I get by the time I'm done uh, catching fish for you guys. So I'll see you guys in a minute and um, I'll probably show me catching the puffer fish. Um, on screen, so I'll see. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back. All 
I just got boned. Okay, so while fishing, I should probably explain. Uh, I, I had some time to look up the odds of fishing rods. Now, uh, as far as fish go, if you're going to be catching a fish, uh, you have about a 60% chance of catching a normal fish, a 25% chance of catching salmon, a 2% fat chance. Oh, we have a fish. <gasps> And it's a puffer fish. What are the odds? I'll tell you the odds. It's about a 13% chance that if you're going to catch a fish, it'll be a puffer fish. Um, but there are also a ton of treasures and stuff that really change up the odds and stuff like that. I cannot believe that I got the puffer fish while talking about that. That is super awesome. We're going to go ahead and cast again right away. Um, and I wanted to say that uh, it's probably actually a good thing that we didn't get anything but unbreaking on our thing. Now we can get lure, which increases the chances of catching fish or, or the, the, the time uh, within catching fish and what kind of fish it will be. Um, and uh, we can get, uh, what is it, Lord of the Sea? Luck of the Sea, sorry about that. We, we could also get Luck of the Sea, which is the enchantment that allows you to catch more treasure. Now, the tre now these seem like they'd be awesome for us, but they are actually not. They're counterproductive. It turns out that we have a 13% chance of catching um, Pufferfish without any enchantment besides unbreaking. That really will not have an effect on it. Um, we will have a 13% chance of catching, but every other chance is less than that. So if we had Luck of the Sea, it would be a less percentage chance. Uh, to be precise, um, Luck of the Sea 1 will give us a, a closer to an 11% chance, and Luck of the Sea 3 will give us closer to a 12% chance. So, obviously, uh, it's a little bit better that we don't have anything on it, even though I thought it would be better. So that's something to keep in mind. Make sure to look up that kind of thing uh, on the chart. I'll go ahead and link it um, in the description down below so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about so I don't seem like I'm crazy. Um, as well as, I should probably cover the cool things that you can catch besides um, besides fish. Uh, you can catch bows, you can catch enchanted books, fishing rods, name tags, saddles, lily pads, and then there's obviously junk that you can catch. You can catch bowls, which is kind of crappy. Oh, we got another fish. This is absolutely amazing. And the sun is setting, so I'm going to have to go to bed here pretty soon. That one's a little bit close, but it'll be fine. Uh, you can catch leather, leather boots, rotten flesh, sticks, strings, bones, ink sacks, and tripwire hooks. Uh, that, that's that's basically the list. Oh, and water bottles. Um, so obviously there is some junk that you can pick up, and that's what Luck of the Sea helps get rid of is that junk. But it still brings down the probability of us catching our puffer fish. So like I said, it's kind of a blessing that we didn't get anything better. I'm kind of glad we didn't. I can't believe we caught our first puffer fish. Ooh, I accidentally put my fishing right away. I'm going to go ahead and sleep, and I will continue fishing, and I will be with you guys when I catch the... Um, ooh, you know what we should do? We should troll this creeper. Ready? Oop, not, not far enough. Nope. Come on. No, 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 no. Ha! We pulled him towards us. Now let's go ahead and hit him with our newly enchanted bow. And boom. Very awesome. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and sleep, and then I will show you guys when I catch the second puffer fish. I can't believe that happened! That's so awesome! Oh, did you see that? I was getting all fancy, but then we got our second puffer fish! Oh, that was so cool! Okay, guys, so I should probably go ahead and explain what's happening. I was going to go ahead and shoot us a little intro for the video, uh, and we ended up catching our second puffer fish. Now, I should probably explain puffer fish a little bit more, and by that I mean changing its or explaining its effects. Now, puffer fish can be eaten. They fill up one tick of hunger, so I believe that's half of a meat stick, and they cause nausea for 15 seconds, poison for a minute, and hunger three for 15 seconds. So it's not good to eat. Do not eat pufferfish. I'll repeat it again. Do not eat pufferfish. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab, or go ahead and put these into our potion making things. That's so awesome that we caught that. Uh, as you can see, I also pot, caught some salmon right here. Uh, very cool texture. Um, the only thing we didn't catch is the clownfish, which is acceptable because it's only a 2.5% chance that that will happen. Uh, let's go ahead and let those guys cook. We will also run upstairs and, or not cook, uh, we'll let them go and do their potions, respectively. And let's go ahead and go upstairs and we will actually cook our fish. Um, 
uh, it doesn't look like we have any more coal in there. Awesome. We have some extra. Now, normally I would eat the salmon raw, but because this is not sushi, uh, and because this is this is Minecraft, uh, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to get sick um, off of that kind of stuff. But I'll go ahead and show you guys what these look like cooked. This is what they look like cooked. And we got an achievement. Let's go ahead and check that out. Um, let's go ahead and zoom out and find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, where? What? Is this some sort of secret achievement that I do not know about? Um, there's obviously the food stuff. Uh, what was it called? Delicious fish. Where is it? Achievements. Okay. I'm going to trace it. Wait, we have, oh, there it is, delicious fish, catch and cook a fish. Awesome, so we took that achievement very easily. And then let's go ahead and check out, this is cooked salmon, uh, just so you guys know what these two look like cooked. I think that is very cool. Uh, I was really happy when they added the um, fish into Minecraft. I, I thought that that was a cool touch. Um, now let's go, or, or the other fish, I should say. Fishing was in, in Minecraft for quite a while, um, but the, the new fish are very cool. Now let's go ahead and check out our potions. Clearly we have potions of water breathing, very awesome. Now you can do two things with our potions of water breathing if you did not know the first is that we can add we can add the um, fermented spider eye and that will go ahead and make it into a potion of harming we don't want that so let's move on besides that and let's go ahead and add our pieces of redstone now redstone will increase the length of the water breathing from three minutes up to eight minutes just like the night vision potion so we will effectively have about 24 minutes if we use three bottles um to go but remember we're gonna we're gonna want to um we're gonna want to space them out so we'll have to drink them every eight minutes which is fine it's something that that's to be expected but um yeah, let's go ahead and let these brew, and there's our potions of water breathing plus is what they call them online, but obviously it's not going to say that because there's no need to because you can see the times on them. Now, this one's just about done. Awesome, and look at that. We have our potions of water breathing. We have our potions of, of night vision, and we have our potions of instant healing. That's so cool, you guys. We have knocked effectively knocked out the potions that we need to go to our ocean monument, um, and that will be what... We have done this episode. That is where I will leave you guys off. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Uh, and have a great day. Remember, you guys, potions are really effective. And, um, I mean, they're often looked upon or looked past at um, in Minecraft. And, and they really shouldn't be. They're easy to make once you have the, the, the base materials. And they're super helpful with your everyday stuff. I'll see you guys later.